Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Salty North Studio and today we're going to be drawing a terrarium. The first thing that you want to do is create your canvas. I'm going to select the setting square 3000 which should be a Procreate default canvas size. So now that we have our canvas made, we're going to go into our layers panel and make sure that our first layer is selected. What we want to do is create a geometric shape. You can make this look however you want. It can be a diamond shape, a cube shape. We just want to give it some sort of 3D looking effect. We want to turn on our symmetry mode in Procreate. So we want to go up to our wrench here and click on canvas and there's going to be a setting in here called drawing guide. You want to switch that on and then click Edit Drawing Guide. We're just going to be using the regular symmetry mode and then go into our options panel and make sure vertical is selected. Click Done. And I'm going to select my monoline brush and the darkest gray in my color palette. And I want to turn it to about 15%. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw a shape that I think looks really good. So now that our terrarium outline is drawn, I want to add a line in the back here to make it look like we're looking through the glass and that we could still see part of the shape happening. So I'm gonna add a layer and I'm going to put it behind the terrarium outline. And I'm gonna keep my pencil at the size I used. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw a straight line right through the middle go to the layer settings and turn down the opacity to about 25%. And if I turn off here, I'll turn off this drawing guide so that you can see what I'm talking about. So all of our plant layers are going to be between these two layers so that it looks like they're sitting inside of the terrarium. So now that we've drawn our terrarium outline, the next thing that we want to do is draw the sand. So we're going to go into our layers panel and in order to make sure that the sand is contained inside of this outline here, we're going to duplicate our ter terrarium outline. And in the bottom most one, we want to fill in everything with a gray so that it becomes one big shape. Create a new layer above it and this is where, I'll rename it for you, this is where we're going to be drawing the sand. So what you want to do now is select our filled shape. So you want to click on it, click select, and if you can see on your screen, I'm not sure if you can see it on mine, but there are all of these lines going around this filled shape. And we're just going to turn off that layer so that we don't see it, even though it's still selected. Click on our top sand layer and start drawing in our sand. So I'm going to I'm going to select our lighter gray and turn up the brush size and just start drawing in the sand. Now that that's done, we can deselect this layer by clicking the little S up on the top. So all of our plants are going to be going above this layer and then you don't have to worry about being really neat on the bottom here with your plants just because we're going to create a rock layer right above everything, above this sand line and that's going to hide all of our messy edges and make it look like the plants are planted in the ground. So I'm going to create a new layer above my sand layer and start drawing in my plants.
Okay, so now that I've created the basic shapes of my plants and cactuses, I'm going to start to add the little details inside of them, the little pricklies and some flowers. Okay, so now that we're done creating our plants and putting in all of the little details, it's time to cover up the bottom of our plants here with that layer of rocks. So I'm going to go into my layers panel and I'm going to put a layer above everything I've done except for that original terrarium outline. Next, I'm going to go into my brushes and select the monoline brush. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to put the brush up to about 15%. So in our color palette, you wanna look for the white, the gray, and the beige colors. And these three are what we're going to be using to create the rocks with. So I'm just gonna start off with the white and just start to create some random marks just along the base of our plants. So that looks pretty even and it's covering all of the little sloppy edges that I made when I drew all of the plants. So now that we've done that, we can start to make our gradient background. I'm going to go into my brushes panel and go into my charcoal brush set and select the to be compressed. Go into your color palette and select the darkest pink that we have. And now go into your layers panel and create a layer right above your background layer. We're gonna turn our brush up to about 52% and start really hard pressure on the bottom of the screen and lighten it as you go up. We're gonna utilize the existing white in our background to help us fade out the pink. And you can go back in with the color white just to give it some more texture and to lighten up areas you think you may have gone too dark. So now that our background is done, we can add the last touch, which is going to be the reflection on the glass. So let's go up to the very top of our terrarium outline, create a new layer, and that's going to be created, we're gonna put that right below it. We're gonna select our whitest white, and make sure we go back to our monoline brush. And you want the, sh the edges of this to be pretty sharp, so make your brush fairly small. I'm gonna put mine at about 5%. And I'm just gonna zoom in and create reflections where I think makes the most sense. So all of these white spots that we just put in are going to be our reflections and in order for them to look a little bit more realistic, we're going to go in the layer itself and turn down the opacity. And I'd say the opacity would probably look pretty good at around 34%. That's all for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.